All right. I think we're live. All right. There we are. We're live. Sorry about that. I knew I was going to have to get a new um, version of Chrome, but I didn't really know how until I told me. So we're here. I'll just give everyone a moment to uh, sign on in. If you're here, give a little thumbs up or say hello. Um, yeah, so we'll just wait a little moment. I know my mom is always here, so <laughs> when she gets on, then I know that, you know, it's working. All right, if you're there, give a little thumbs up or, or a little wave. Uh, we need to make sure that we have all of our materials. So I'm going to go ahead and go through mine. We need three pieces of paper. I chose three shades of green. Um, we need a glue stick. We need a ruler. And we need a marker or markers, whatever you want to decorate. Um, so today, we're going to be making pop-up cards. It's very exciting. It's something that I used to do all the time as a kid. Um, and then we're also going to be making an envelope. Uh, I have a little example envelope here, so that's fun. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start with, let's start with uh, measuring out our pop-up card. So decide which paper you want. If you have a colored paper, you know, whichever one you want. I'm going to do, I'm going to save this for the envelope, and then I'm going to do these two for the card. So I need two for the card. Take your outside sheet. And we're just going to lay it down, right down on our surface. And we want to take off one and a half inches from each side. So with your ruler, um, actually, I'm going to protect, I'm going to protect the couch that I'm on so I don't accidentally draw on it. And I'm just going to mark one and a half inches on each side. So I'm going to do one and a half and a little mark. I'll come over here. One and a half, a little mark. Turn it around. One and a half, a little mark. Actually, I need to go on this side too. So we're doing all of the sides. One and a half. Turn it around. There. Okay, how many do I need? I need this edge across. About there. And about there. Okay. So if you're joining us just now, uh, we're going to be making pop-up cards. It's something that's a lot easier than you probably think, and um, you only need a couple materials. Scissors. That's my other material. Again, I use kitchen shears because I don't own real scissors. Uh, interesting coming from someone who's so crafty. So we're going to cut off one and a half inches from each side. Right now I have just the little bits marked the little dots. Um, you could eyeball it. I don't want to because uh, it's a pretty long line. So I'm going to take that ruler again. Make this come down. And then I'm going to line up, again, for protecting my couch here. Line up dot to dot, top to bottom, and draw one straight line. And then it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go top to bottom here. This one's a little trickier because my ruler isn't quite long enough. Oops. Okay, so one trick here is always draw on the side that you're going to be getting rid of anyway. So if you accidentally come off of your straight edge, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to do that one again. And further down. Turn it, dot to dot, all 
the way down. Oops. This works better on a flat surface. I don't really have a uh, rock or table to show you on. Okay, and then our last side, let's get this one done. Dot to dot about there. And we just draw all the way down. All right. So we have all of our lines drawn. She looks something like this. And we're just going to cut all the way around. Now, if you don't plan on putting this in an envelope, you don't have to worry about making it smaller. If you want just the card to give to someone, say, say you made a card and you just want to hand it to them, you don't need an envelope and you don't need to do this step. You can just keep it as is. But right now, because we want to get it into a smaller envelope, um, we need to cut down the size. And then we go and we cut. Again, if you're joining us um, now, we are making pop-up cards. Something very simple, probably a lot easier than you think. And it's a great way to add a little personal touch. You know, if you can't make it to the store for a birthday card or I guess Mother's Day's past now or a Father's Day card or just a thinking of you card, you need to make your own. This is a great way to brighten someone's day. All right, I've got one more side to go. All right, so now we've got our shortened piece. These scraps I can put off to the side. I can either use later um, or I can just toss them. I might use them later, so I'm going to hold on to these. Now I've got our inside. So we've got the outside to the card and the inside to the card. I'm going to lay down this piece and then I'm going to put the one that we just cut right on top. Now what I'm going to do is put it to the corner and I'm going to loosely trace the edge so that I've got a good idea of how big I want it. I want the inside piece to be smaller than the outside piece. So if I trace this edge here, then I can cut about an inch, maybe half an inch inside of that line. So it's automatically smaller than our template. Okay, so I'll put that down for you. We push this over into the corner. All right, so I'm going to line this up in the corner, edge to edge, as best as I can. And then I'm just going to trace and trace. Now, don't worry about the marker showing because we're going to cut on the inside anyway. So we're going to cut about half of an inch or so on the inside. So really only about that much inside. You can eyeball this, you can cut it, uh, sorry, you can draw it out and then cut it. Um, I actually might do a little bit more than that just to give more of a dramatic difference. Okay, so I'm gonna do about this much. And again, this is all kind of up to you, whatever you're feeling. Um, this is not a perfect template I won't get mad at you if you don't want to do what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see how this compares. I'd say, I'd say that's pretty good. So we've got a border. It's not quite straight yet, but we've got a border and then we have an inside. So now we have our two pieces to the card. Take your outside piece and put it off to the side. Your scrap. I will not be using this. This is something that I will not be using again. So I'm gonna put this even further away. Okay, so now we've got our inside piece of the card. What you can do now is you can fold this piece in half, perfectly in half, edge to edge, and crease. All right, so now we've got the beginnings of our card. And our card is going to be opening up this way, not this way. 
I suppose you could do side to side, but in the style that I'm thinking, I'm gonna do up and down. I'll give you, I'm trying to decide when I wanna give you the preview of what I made earlier. I'll do that in just a moment. Okay, so now we folded it. You're gonna go to the, the folded edge, have that toward you. Get your scissors out, and I'm just gonna eyeball this. It's gonna be about an inch deep. So about an inch from the base going down that side. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the center loosely with my eyeballs, or you can measure it if you're into that, if you're like really anal about those things. And I just made two little slits. Hopefully the center is somewhere around here, somewhere around there, and then this is even. So if you were to measure it, you would find the middle and then you'd find equal distance away from the middle and do about an inch, is that an inch? Three quarters of an inch of a cut. Then when you open it up, you're going to push that bit through so it sticks out the other side. So it sticks out just like this. And then you fold, you fold it over Crease it to reinforce the opposite direction now. And then when you open it, you get this little box. And that's supposed to be like a little podium, a little pedestal. So now that we've got that done, find your glue stick. Found your glue stick. Find your outside piece. Now, if you had a side with a marker on it, you probably want that to be the outside, so like not facing you, but facing away from you. If you want the marker on the outside, I don't know. There's no real best way to go about that. Either you have marker on the outside of your card or the inside. So really do what you want. We're going to take this piece. We're going to fold this one in half. If you've joined me, do you want to put a little happy face, a little like button, a little heart so I know that you're there? I feel like I'm talking to a void, but it's fun. Okay, so we've got, really crease that down. So we've got our outside folded. Da, 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 da. And then you take your inside, stick it inside, so that when you, after we've glued this, you'll see. But it looks like a normal card, and when you open it, there's no longer an empty space here as if you just had this one, right? So this backing reinforces it and also provides a surprise. So we take a glue stick, pop it open. Make sure you actually have glue sticking out the end. And start to glue the back side of this inner piece. I always like to glue the piece that I will be sticking onto something so I don't accidentally glue too much or in the wrong spot. You ever glue in the wrong spot and then things get stuck and it's not good. Okay, so I'm only gonna glue the top half. All right, hopefully that's enough. So I'm only doing one half right there. And then I line it up so it's even. And then I fold it over and I push down. Really give it a good smush because I don't really trust glue sticks all that much. So, smush down. Okay, so we've got one half. Time to do the other half. Glue stick, make sure you still got glue. Fold it apart, separate it, and then we're gonna glue this side because then that's going to stick over to the other side. So make sure you really go around this box area. Good pressure on there. All right, let me fold this over and give a good smush, good rub. Okay. All right, so now we've got our card all glued together. So going back to that um, paper that I said I might use later, 
I'm gonna pick up this piece. Okay, so with your scraps, what you can do is that you can cut them out and you can make little shapes and then put them on this pedestal. So I'll show you what that looks like. What shape should I do? If anyone has any suggestions, just write them away in the comments. If not, I'm going to do, should I do a tree? I feel like the tree is very Earth Day. I want to do more of a uh, thank you to our first responders. I'm not very good at um, cutting out syringes. Could do a mask, but I feel like that's just a piece of paper. Another thing that they use, what would they use? A stethoscope. Oh, that's hard too. I might try a stethoscope. Ooh, okay. Let's try this. So I'm going to draw it first. Um, I'm going purely based on memory. I'm not a doctor. I don't know uh, the last time I saw a stethoscope. So we're just going to, you know, run with it. We're going to go like this and like this. And then maybe another side, up and up. And I think they've got like little balls on the end. Not 100% sure. And then they've got this coil that goes around. Okay. I got the coil. And they've got this flat part that they use to take the measurement. Okay, this is a very poorly done stethoscope. I'm afraid to show you. Wow. Let me let me color in a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Maybe, you know, give it some shading. It gives it some life. Is that a thing? Is that a saying? Not really. Okay, and we're just gonna make we're just gonna color that in because that looks funny. This looks bad. So I made my stethoscope. Don't judge me. I didn't look it up beforehand. I don't know what it looks like. Now we're just going to cut it out. I'm sure if any healthcare worker out there sees that I'm trying, then they would at least be proud. And we're going to, I like to stick the back of this with some glue. And then we stick it right on our little pedestal. On the front side, not on the top. I suppose you could do it on top. Da, 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 da. It's a stethoscope or something resembling a stethoscope. If you want to do a second tier, that would be fun. Let's grab another piece of paper. Let's do, I have to do something skinnier. Okay, I have to do something skinnier and then it has to fold over to get up higher. So if we make a fold here, we can stick it inside and we go even higher. So let's do about you know, here. And then on the top of the stethoscope, above it, I'm gonna do the most realistic face you have ever seen. You know those like four hour, it goes like four second, four minute, four hour videos or like photos of people drawing. This is going to be like the four days of smiley faces. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You got to put something on his head, right? Yeah. And then we're going to go like this. Got to have a nose. Don't forget the ears. Right. Put some hair, right? Got to have some hair on there. Perfect. Amazing. I should win an award. The smiley face. Okay, so now we take our glue, stick the bottom of that, and then we fit this right in that slot behind him. So really push down, find that connection point and push down. It needs to really get in there. And then, oh my gosh, how funny is that? Oh, he's hidden a little bit. Oh, we're going to cut down the stethoscope just a little bit. Boom. Perfect. Genius.
and it folds just beautifully. Yeah, the top one you really have to make sure is folded backwards for the card trick to work. But that very bottom one works beautifully. So if you'd like to see a more artistic version of this here thank you card, I did this one earlier and I put in a lot more effort <laughs> and it used watercolors. So here we've got a little card with a homemade flower. When we open it up, we get this beautiful bouquet of flowers. I did, um, I'm learning how to paint uh, flowers with watercolor. I've never painted with watercolor before, so it's fun to see how it reacts. Um, definitely watch the YouTube on how to make that. But um, yeah, so there's a little pop-up card. Time to make the envelope. All right, this show says it's like, at one point the show said it was 30 minutes long, another point it said an hour. I'm just gonna keep going until I'm done. So we're gonna make an envelope. Find your third piece of paper. Now, unfortunately, we need a square. This is a rectangle, so we have to fix that. There is this trick that I really like to um, make a rectangular piece of paper into a square. Um, I, can actually I can show you that. This is a very useful tip, actually. Um, we can't do that, unfortunately, with this piece of paper because it creates um, too many folds. But if you have a rectangle and you want to make a square, take one edge. Can't do it facing the camera, I have to go down. All right, to make a square, you take this edge, fold it over, and then you can either draw a line or rip it off. I know sometimes people can like um, fold it back and forth to rip it off, but you can draw a line, and then when you cut it, then all of a sudden, you go from a rectangle to a perfect square. Ta-da! That's how to make a rectangle into a square. However, you do end up with a fold, and we don't want that. So, we find a ruler, and we take our pen, and my pieces of paper, they say they're eight and a half by 11, but honestly, this is not eight and a half. This is like eight, I have already measured this out, eight and a half plus, I want to say that's like over half. It's not even half of an eight. It's like over half. Anywho, I've marked it on my ruler how, how long this is exactly. And then I'm going to mark it on here so that I can oops, move it the other way. Put this down so you can see what I'm doing. Mark it there. One end. And then the other end, right here. And then I draw a straight line. Again, protect your surface. Dot to dot, lined up, draw a line, and cut. So we're going to cut. This is the alternative way to make a square. So the envelope that we're making is in an origami style paper folding without the use of cutting. Okay, besides this, once you have your paper, no more cutting, no tape, no glue, no nothing. If you're gonna mail this, that's a different story. Please shut your envelopes. Um, Otherwise, everyone's going to see your pop-up card and it's no longer going to be so special for the person you give it to because everyone's already seen it. Don't want that. You have your paper. We're going to fold it in half. Now, don't actually fold it. You're doing corner to corner as precisely as you can. Don't fold the whole piece. Just pinch. Just pinch and let go. That's all. Do the other side. 
We're doing a crisscross. Fold, pinch, let go. Okay, well, now we've got this minimally, minimally creased page. Using those creases, I'm gonna turn this downward. Now you're gonna take your outer corners here and you're gonna fold it into the center. So the reason we fold it is to find that center piece. Okay, so we bring it over and fold, bring it over and fold. I am on an ottoman, so these folds are not tight. So let's really make those tight. Really fold that in. If it's not perfect, don't worry. You'll be loved no matter who receives this, even if it's not perfect. They don't line up perfectly, and it's going to be okay. Okay, moving on. Top piece over. We want this to really make some crisp edges. Maybe a little bit more. This is really hard with construction paper because it does fight you. Okay. We're going to pretend that that's good. Because whoever receives this will know that I even put, I put effort in. Therefore, love what I did. Okay. So now we've got one, two, three. Open up the top. Open up the top so now we are only working with our middle two. Then, I remember how this goes. Forgot my instructions. Aha. I'm using my uh, extra one to remind myself. Okay. Yes. We need to take the bottom piece. All right, we've unfolded the top. We take the bottom piece. We take this point and bring it up to this crease. So bring it all the way up to the top and crease, making sure the edges are in line. Yeah, I wrote some instructions, but I think I left them over there. Okay, so we did this. Unfold. Now we take one side, this is still the bottom. Take one side, see this crease? Fold it up just before the crease. You don't want to go past the crease, you want to stay on this side of the crease. And go all the way down. So now, it looks like this. We just did one side, we went in, lined it up. We're gonna do that to the other side. All right, unfold this to do that. We go across to the crease, and bump in here, just like that. All right, so we did the other one, and we unfold it. Now we take this bottom tab, bring it up to the bottom crease of the square right here. So we just went up, and really give that a good fold. Okay. We're almost there, I promise. So now we've got this looking shape, right? We've already started this crease right here, so we're gonna keep finishing that. We're gonna keep going over. You're just gonna have to press down a little extra. And we'll go over, press down a little extra. And this is kind of the confusing part. I'll have this fold you so you can see it a little bit easier. There's, I'm gonna call this the house, right? And then we've got these little tabs inside, right there. The tabs need to go inside the house. So what we do is we take this tab, we have to kind of unfold it, scooch it over and coax it. It's very hard to do upside down. Okay, I'm gonna do it facing me. Okay, so we've got our house. We take this tab, 
we have to coax it over and then fold it down. So now we've got this crease that's the opposite direction is over here. Before, it was like this, and then we move the tab inside the house and fold it down. So we've created a new crease. And we do that to the other side. Let's see if I can do this one upside down. Okay, coax it over, tab goes inside the house, just like that. Okay, our tabs are in the house. I keep turning this around. Just, okay, I'm gonna keep you down here. <laughs> All right, so now we've got this situation. We're gonna fold it up. Are you seeing the envelope starting to form? Yes, yes. Fold it up and really reinforce the crease on the bottom in case it wasn't good before. We want to fold this into here. So we take the little house that we have, take the little house and tuck it behind those side flaps. And then we have a little pouch. Now that we have the pouch, take the top, da 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 da, an envelope. So that's how you make an origami envelope. And now that your thank you note or your pop-up card is done and it's smaller, right? It's, it's smaller than say a large card by a significant amount. You can put this in your envelope. Let's see if this fits. Let's open it up, slide in my thank you card and then you close it. Now, if you're gonna mail this, I actually mailed a card in one of these envelopes today. Oh, sorry mom, your um, Mother's Day card was a little late. It was raining and I didn't wanna go walking outside to the post office, sorry. So, if you wanna mail it, all you have to do is tape it shut and then it's perfect. So, again, there's your origami envelope. And here's your two piece pop-up card. Now, one thing that I used to do as a kid too, um, with a larger card is that not only with this one bench, um, you, you can do more than that. You can do one on the other side. You can do three. I would do three a lot. You, depending on how far you cut, you can make different shaped tiers. If you don't cut it perfectly evenly, um, here, I'll give an example. Say this is your card and you go to cut it. Normally, like just now, I did even cuts. If you don't do it evenly, let's say I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start even, and then I'm going to weasel my scissors in one side and cut a little bit further than the other side. This works better with an X-Acto knife, don't lie. Okay, and then we, I have to pop it through. So we've got our normal card and then we have to pop it through and then fold it again. Really fold it. Hmm, I guess that's not what I did. How did I make them tall? Oh, I had to make them much taller. That's what it was. So one side's gonna be a lot longer than the other. So you can see the beginning of this. And then you have to fold the other side as well. So you can make a taller tier. Yeah, so you have other options. And then you kind of have to play with this to see which works. Um, what works. But in this case, you can make a taller box than here. So there are other options. Um, you can really play around with it, make it your own, make it personal. I find that the inch box works the best. Um, 
and then you can just decorate the outside. I like to leave some space to write below because you don't want to have writing behind this pop-up. But yeah, I like this one better than the other one because I worked harder on this one. So yes, our pop-up cards and our origami envelopes. That was our craft today. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you would like more of this, we've got more classes happening this week. Tomorrow's Thursday, which means I'm not even going to try because there are so many classes to, uh, that we offer. So look on the Facebook page. You'll see everything that we offer. I don't exactly remember which days are which, but I know that Ava is doing a child story time, Once Upon a, once upon a Story. Anna Fenley is doing a Mommy and Me class. Carmen is doing a uh, drinks and talk with somebody. She like has this chat, sit down and chat thing. Leo interviews... Um, choreographers, which is really cool. You can see some of their works. Um, James had his improv today, uh, but there are so many classes. Uh, there's a baking show um, on Friday. It's really great. We're doing a lot of, of um, videos for you to check out. If you would like to follow us on YouTube, we have a new YouTube channel that has all of our videos. Um, it's just NWA Ballet Theater on YouTube. You can go subscribe. Uh, and if you like any of the videos or any of the craft videos, you can find them all on that YouTube channel. You can also find all of the exercise classes and interviews uh, as well. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today. Um, who knows how long it takes to do crafts because, you know, things happen. Um, accidents happen. Creativity happens. I would not have added this beautiful smiley face, this four day smiley face if uh, I didn't think of it. But yeah, so uh, tune in on Wednesdays for half an hour to an hour, who knows? And we'll have fun and we'll make stuff together. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.